Uh, I do believe that uh, humanity has reached a crossroad, and I, I hate to uh, exaggerate that. I don't want it to sound sensational, but I think it's true. I think our species, the species of human beings, is um, coming to a place where we are deciding about ourselves. We are making a huge decision about who are we, who do we really choose to be. Who are we, who do we really choose to be. Who are we, who do we really choose to be. imagine that the issue is a political issue. Then we say, ah, well, it must be a financial problem. The problem is not political, it's not financial, and it's also, by the way, not military, obviously. Circumstances don't determine who you are, they reveal who you are. And the world that we live in now, the circumstances are changing so rapidly that we're being revealed. There's no such thing as a problem. A problem is essentially a transition. So I see the crises of today as a transition point for humanity. Look down on the human drama and discern through your critical faculties what's going on without judging it. Just discern what is this human drama about right now and what role can I best play in it? I don't know that people are always aware of it until you ask powerful questions. Research is so interesting on this that if you ask college students what they aspire to, they talk about money. But if you ask them what the best thing was that happened to them in the last month, they, they mention experiences with other people. They never mention possessions. So on an intuitive level, people do understand what it is that brings them joy, but sometimes they have to find out the hard way. All the problems that we're facing right now, they're not problems. They're actually questions. Who are we? Who do we really choose to be? How do we choose to relate to life itself? How do we choose to relate to all the different elements of life, the environment, the planet itself, obviously the people? Why are we here and where are we going from here? What is the meaning of my life? We're in a transition stage where the old answers are no longer sustainable, and that's why we're facing the crises we face. So there's a population in a state of flux saying the old stuff doesn't work, and we're ready for new answers that will create a newer, more sustainable civilization. Simple point, the old civilization is no longer sustainable, the answers are flawed, new answers are in, and we're in the moment of taking those new answers and weaving a new culture that will support those answers and support ourselves. At this critical point in time, uh, we have to redefine what it means to be human. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to choose a new identity, literally choose a new identity, and recreate ourselves anew as a humanity recreate ourselves as a brand new uh, kind of, uh, of living organism, a brand new kind of species, and, and recreate the organism as a cluster, as a group, rather than as a, a, a um, scattering of single individuals. We have to change our thinking about who we are in relationship to each other. We've been living in a competitive society for too long, and in this, the world we see is the result, the ego, the competitive ego. What we have to do is learn how to cooperate and drop the ego and realize again that if we have people in one country that are very poor and people that are very wealthy, the wealthy are going to have to get big armies and big fences to keep those other people out. It's not going to work with the divisions of society that we have today and the stratification. <laughs> Change of 
Man has to go through a change to realize that his life should be lived for the unity of mankind and that we're all like one man in one heart and we're sharing that desire, sharing that thought we're on mutual connection, making mutual concessions in reciprocity like cells of a living body